In this demonstration, we're going to look at deploying an application. So in an earlier demo, what I did is I created an application called Microsoft Office Excel Viewer. Now what we want to do is we want to deploy this application. So if we right click, what we have is we have a button that says deploy. So we'll select deploy. Now what will happen is this will bring us into a little wizard. So within our little wizard, just on the general page, yep, we have our software. We have the name of the actual application itself. Now what we need to do is decide who we're going to deploy this to or what we're going to deploy this to. So if I click on the browse button in the collection, I can either deploy this application out to users or what we can also do as well is we can shove it out to devices or deploy it to devices. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to come for user collections. Under my user collections, I'm going to make this software available for all users. And as you can see, we've got a few of them. So we'll select OK at this point. Then what we'll do is we'll just have a quick read through. We're going to automatically distribute the content for dependencies as well, potentially. And we'll select next. In the case of the content itself, we now need to specify our content destination. So we'll select our add button. We'll go for a distribution point, And I will specify at this point here, I'll specify my lon-cfg server. Now we highlight our server and select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll select next. Okay, under action, what we've got here is we've got install or we've got uninstall. So I'm going to install the application and then the case of the purpose, shall we make it available to the users or shall we make it required for the users? I'm going to select required. Pre-deploy the software that uses primary device if the user has selected a primary device. We can send wake up packets if we're using wake on LAN and we can allow clients on a metered internet connection to download the content after the installation deadline. However, if it's metered, it may incur additional costs. So all we'll do is we won't bother with any of these tick boxes. We will install it. We will make it required and we'll select next. In the case of the scheduling, what we'll do at this point here is we'll actually schedule at. Uh, what we'll do is we'll schedule that at tomorrow's date. So all we'll do, do that for tomorrow. And then what we'll do is we'll select next. On the user experience, so what we've got here is we can display in software center and show all notifications. We can display in software center and only show notifications for computer restarts, or we can hide in the software center and all notifications. We'll just go with the default, display in the software center and show all notifications. When the installation deadline is reached, what can we allow to be performed outside the maintenance window? So we can install the software outside the maintenance window. We can also do system restarts. And finally, Right filter handling on the Windows embedded devices so we can commit the changes at the deadline or during the maintenance window probably will require a restart. I'm not going to bother modifying any of the defaults and we'll select next. In the case of our alerts, what we can do at this point here is we can specify exactly how we will get alerts based off an issue with this application. We're not going to bother modifying any of this, but as you can see here, we can create a deployment alert when the threshold is lower than the following percent of success across the application deployment. We can also specify as well the threshold for failed deployment. So we can create a deployment alert when the threshold is higher than the following percentage of failures. And we can enable system center operation manager maintenance mode and also as well generate ops manager alerts when software installation fails. Can't really enable this anyway. Don't have operations manager in my environment. However, we'll select next. Read through the summary and select next. Wait for this to complete and then we'll close down the wizard. And what we've now done is we've now deployed this application out to our users. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.